in now, it's going to start pouring down. I think that, that we saw the push it in and pouring down, Julian, you called it absolutely right. That is Peter Cook. And look at these conditions on the commentary box here. It's absolutely pelting it down. And there is no question about it right now that this track is almost undrivable. Wetro drives, the 52 Lotus goes up there. Robert Ross just managed. Now this is down to Nickerbrook. That's the number eight to lead of the nine is coming down in towards it. Oh my God, that is a massive shot between the number nine and the number eight Salim. Two cars, the teammate cars, cars in the same stable and they have made a serious contact. That is the Viper, I think, just up there. Steve Watson, number 38, the marshal needs to be getting out of the way. And oh my God. Wow, we just hope that he's that he's managed to be okay. And we see the Ferrari spinning off there and he has gotten up. The Lister just getting through on its wet tires. We see Mike Newton there, I think it was just running off from the number nine car. The 55 TBR hits the Ferrari and the Celine and the Viper. Simon pulling in that car. Well, and this is Shane Lynch. Now he's going off just before the previous she came, before we get to Hilltop, coming out of Fulston. Now we're de we're back down here at Nickerbrook and the and the TBR the Marco excuse me going off the number 19 car also going off where Shane Lynch up did we can see the 57 car there is Steve O'Rourke just and this this is a terrible situation look at that Julian that's that's Mike Newton just there to the right looking at the damage now he actually owns part owns both of those Celines that are sat there in the middle of the track so he is thankfully he's okay but boy is he going to be feeling upset about the damage to those two very very expensive racing cars now the news we have from all the drivers are, are okay Stephen Watson is out of that car Mike Newton's out of the car Simon Pullen is out of the car 79 Porsche going off with Julian this is just this is just unbelievable red flags are out they're calling a halt to this not a moment too soon well we can see that uh, you know he's just stranded there you can see him just trying to move the, that car number eight car out of the way at the last minute but he can't he stalls it and wow this is a hell of an impact boy oh boy they were both very very fortunate but you know, completely passengers. There's absolutely nothing they seem to they could do about that. We're on board now with Mike Newton in the number nine car. You can just listen. You can hear the revs just spin up. There's no grip at all, and he's just a complete passenger. Wow! He just saw that yellow flag there on the outside, but you couldn't you couldn't see that or the car down in the distance, could you? Well, I tell you, I've had that happen to me before. There's nothing you can do about it. Once you've lost control like that, the inertia just takes you wherever you're going. But here's the escape. I've never seen anything like this. This guy is very, very lucky. Yeah, he's, he's, he's oblivious that the car's coming up behind him. He's been told to get out of the way. And amazing how he just managed to flip over the back of that car. I can't believe it. Oh, and I tell you what, I think because of the damage to the back end of the Viper, it was up in the air and, and he managed to almost slide underneath it. That was an unbelievable escape. In these situations, you're much safer actually staying in the car and trying to get no one on board with the Ferrari. Wow, what an impact. Golly, that was that was huge. Here we see it again from outside. And that was that that was on board with the Ferrari that was stationary when it got hit by the 55 TBR there, which was coming down from the hilltop. Like all the major damage here has been caused from the top end of that hill. And look at this. I mean we're talking thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of damage, and luckily there is nothing more than very, very expensive racing cars. The news we have is that the Marshall's been a little bit injured, but on the whole there has been no serious injuries which is extremely extremely fortunate well in these conditions obviously no racing can take place and they've got a heck of a lot of cleaning up to do to get this track race ready it was unbelievable i thought you know at the beginning i thought it was the right move i should be pulled a big gap out and all of a sudden the range has come down and that's what tommy was saying you know he was doing like five miles an hour coming over the top of the hill into nickerbrook and he met, i think he just got the gap from the rain and the others come over and it was just a carnage from talking to tom and a couple of the others it was just kind of just and they're still left, left to right and there was like you know three inches of water on the track and the big obviously it's downhill there so there's a big stream running across and they were hitting that and that's the plane off and the chicane it was just, just a nightmare really well absolute carnage is right and there is a lot of cleaning up work to do here as we look at shane lynch they're just leaning up against the number 69 tvr that is a very very badly damaged selena so it's just a miracle that no one has been seriously hurt in these incidents and uh, again, a lot of work to do now.